Horns up and welcome to a brand new episode of Headbangers Kitchen. We are your one stop shop for keto recipes. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and hit that bell icon so you get notifications when I upload a new video. Now, for today's recipe, we are going all the way to Japan. Or actually I'm bringing Japan to my kitchen but before I do that I want to give a big shout out to Dean Masa to John Leggy and to Sharon Sunny for picking up their Headbangers Kitchen merchandise and sending me their photos with it so if you got a photo of yourself in the HK merch send it to me at headbangerskitchen at gmail.com and look I got mine too anyway enough jibber jabber let's talk about today's recipe now for today's recipe we're going to be cooking up Omu rice which is a Japanese dish and I'm pretty sure you have seen the video on YouTube where the chef puts this omelet on top of some rice and he cuts it open and the omelet sort of oozes over. That's just one way how to make Omu rice. There's another way where the rice is put inside the egg. Anyway it's a beautiful dish and the fried rice is not like a standard uh, Japanese fried rice it's like a tomato ketchup fried rice yeah but we can't have ketchup on keto so we're going to be making it with our own tomato sauce and trust me guys it's going to be delicious it's called Japanese American cuisine uh, there's a lot of sort of information about the dish that you can find online but anyway enough jibber jabber for me let's go and make that keto omu rice so the first thing we're going to do is take some mushrooms and cut them up into slices. I'm also going to chop up one spring onion and don't ask me where the green part has gone. We just had this lying around in the house. Now the original recipe calls for a regular onion but I have chosen to go with a spring onion because it has less carbs. Then I'm going to chop up my chicken into small bite sized pieces and you can use chicken breast like the original recipe calls for but I prefer to use the leg meat because it doesn't dry out while cooking and I just think it tastes better. Now I've also got some leftover tinned tomatoes but I'm not going to use the tomato itself for this recipe I'm going to use the juice that was in the can the tomato juice so I'm just going to pour that out into a bowl and it's perfect it's about 100 grams of tomato puree and you can just of course use regular tomato puree or you can just puree a tomato we're looking for about 100 grams of the stuff so now for this dish we're also going to need some cauliflower rice to replace the actual rice in the dish so I'm going to basically grate my cauliflower florets in the food processor then I'm going to put the cauliflower in a bowl and I'm going to give it a generous seasoning of salt give it a little bit of a shake and then put it in the microwave for five minutes and then once it comes out of the microwave I'm just going to give it a good mix now it's time to make the fried rice for our omu rice and I'm going to get our pan on the stove and heat up a tablespoon of olive oil and to that olive oil I'm going to add a tablespoon of butter as well because like I've told you before butter makes everything better and we need some good fat in this recipe once the butter has melted I'm going to add in the spring onion and like I mentioned earlier the original recipe calls for a regular onion but since I had a spring onion lying around I preferred to use that plus less carbs than a regular onion then in goes my chicken and I give it a very generous seasoning of salt and black pepper and then you just want to mix it all up and give it a good mix and now remember you want to be cooking this on a rather high heat next I'm going to add in our chopped mushrooms and then give it all a good mix and just in case you started drinking every time I say a good mix you might want to top up your glass anyway in go my tomatoes into the frying pan and also in goes my minced garlic which I forgot to add in earlier but you can add it in later no problem this is all going to cook down together and I'm also going to add in a big swig of white vinegar and a big swig of soya sauce try and use something with less sugar content or a light soya sauce if possible or you can skip it if you like but I just thought it would be a good addition to the dish and I'm going to add in a few drops of stevia just to give it that ketchup like sweetness and then you give that all a good mix now you just want to let this cook down for a little bit you want the tartness of the tomato puree to cook out 
and you also want the sauce to reduce and become a little sticky so once your sauce has reduced down and you've got a nice consistency to it add in your cooked cauliflower cauliflower rice I mean so add that in give it all a good mix And then for some freshness, I'm just going to chop up and add some coriander. Now ideally, I would have used the spring onion greens, but since I didn't have those, I use this. And that's pretty much it. Give it all a good mix one more time and turn off the heat and your rice is ready. Now we're just going to transfer that into a bowl and set it aside. The next thing I'm going to do is crack two eggs in a bowl. I'm going to add a tablespoon of heavy whipping cream to that and then I'm going to beat those eggs. Beat them till they're nice and fluffy. Then I'm going to get my non-stick pan on the stove and I'm going to heat up some olive oil. I'm also going to add some butter to that for extra flavor because butter makes everything better. And then once it's melted down, I'm going to add in the eggs. And now it's really important how you cook these eggs. You want to shake the pan, you want to toss them around, you want to almost scramble the eggs and get these little curds happening in them. But you got to make sure you're not too violent with it as well. So just make sure you keep moving the pan. This is a real difficult technique and it might take you some time to master. I saw a guy on YouTube do it for like 9 tries before he could master it. Anyway, once the egg is nearly done, we're going to add in the rice the fried rice and then what you want to do is fold over the eggs from both sides now again the japanese are very talented and they do these fancy moves on the frying pan and they they just make it look so easy but it is really difficult so i somehow managed to get it all together and then straight away onto my plate and oh yeah then you got to take a kitchen towel and just shape your omu rice so it looks nice and pretty and then I'm going to finish it off with some hot sauce, but not just any hot sauce. I'm going to write the Headbangers Kitchen on the Omu Rice with it, just because I can and I want to. And that's it. Your Omu Rice is ready. And oh my gosh, it looks delicious. Anyway, I know you're dying for me to cut into that Omu Rice and show you a cross section of the dish. So here goes nothing. Oh yeah, look at that omu rice, looks so good and tasty. Anyway, enough jibber jabber, it really is time to taste. Alright folks, it's time to taste the omu rice and I bet you're wondering why my t-shirt has changed. It's not just clever marketing to show you all the Headbangers Kitchen designs. No, no, no. I actually made most of this yesterday and unfortunately I didn't get it right the first time my egg sort of stuck to the pan and I was really frazzled and I abandoned my omu rice so anyway I picked myself up again and today I decided to get it and I got it right and here is that omu rice with the egg cooked properly and it's time for me to taste anyway yeah enough jibber jabber let's dig into this omu rice let's get some of the eggs some of the chicken some of the cauliflower all of it oh man I'm making a mess Mm. the curly rice wow this is bang on the money this is such a beautiful keto meal and what I'm really kicked about is how much the fried rice tastes like ketchup rice it's amazing like I think we may have a keto tomato sauce in the making because we can't have regular tomato sauce that's filled with sugar but this keto tomato sauce is killing it like I'm so proud of myself guys I give myself a round of applause with one hand anyway enough jibber jabber I hope you guys are going to try making this let me know how it turns out tag me on Instagram if you take a picture I'm at headbangers kitchen anyway enough jibber jabber I will see you on the next episode cheers and keep cooking and I'm gonna go back to eating man this is delicious like ooh, and that little hot sauce mm. Mm -mm -mm. unreal 
I'm good. Little, little coats of egg inside. Ooh, so good. 